All right, so we're going to prove the Pythagorean theorem, uh, and we're going to do that by uh, the proof that James Garfield, the President of the United States, gave. That's right, he's the only president to have ever come up with an original proof of the Pythagorean theorem. It's quite simple, and it's uh, honestly, apart from the history, my favorite proof. So, let's create a, a construction here. So we're going to start with our triangle, right? Our right triangle, which is what the Pythagorean theorem is about. We're going to label the legs A and B, and the hypotenuse is going to be length C. All right. Now, what we're going to do is construct upon the hypotenuse the square which has side length hypotenuse, right? So this is going to be C, that's going to be C, that's going to be C, and they're all going to be right angles, right? All right, then uh, noting that this angle is equal to pi over 2 minus that angle, uh, so that pi the number of degrees in a straight line, right, from here to here, minus uh, pi over 2, which is this, this angle, minus pi over 2 minus this angle, theta if you like, is going to be equal to just theta, so that we're going to have uh, right here the same angle that we have there. Now, given that that's true, what we can do is if we extend this line segment length B, then the resulting triangle formed by connecting this, these two points must be this triangle, right? It is, they are congruent. So this is length A, um, and that's all because the sum of the angles here has to be 180 degrees or pi radians. Okay, then we're going to connect the diagonal of this square to make a trapezoid and then erase this top bit. This construction is what we're going to use. All right, so we're just going to say a, a simple statement, which is that the area of a trapezoid is equal to the area of a trapezoid. Well, duh. Uh, so what we're going to do is use the formula for the area of a trapezoid, and that's going to be one half times the height times the sum of the two bases, right? Our two bases are A and B, so it's going to be equal to one half times A plus B. And what's the sort of height in this situation? Well, it's this length, but this is also A plus B, so that's just going to be A plus B squared. Now, the area is also going to be equal to the sum of these three areas, right? Well, this is just the area of a triangle, so one-half AB plus, again, the same triangle, so one-half AB plus the area of half of the square with side length C, so that's going to be plus one-half C squared. Now, because the area of the trapezoid is equal to both of these expressions, we can set them equal to each other. And that's going to give us uh, one half times a plus b squared is equal to one half. Actually, let's combine these two. So just equals a b plus one half c squared. All right. Now let's uh, multiply both sides by two, and this one half disappears. We get a two there, and that one half disappears. All right. Let's expand this. This is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. And on the other side, we still have 2ab plus c squared. Well, if we subtract 2ab from both sides, you'll notice we get a squared plus b squared must equal c squared. And the proof is done. By considering the area of a trapezoid, we have shown that the length of a hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to, uh, it squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of its legs. How about that? And this is due to James Garfield, the U.S. President.